She said she don't use toilet paper, huh? She no. used her kids' clothes. She used she, no, no, no. You, did, you just came in wax. She uses a bidet. <laughs> this is her system. She this uses a bidet. She to clean out the heavy. She said the bidet does the heavy duty work, which we know what that area is. Then she dries herself. Um, from front to back using a cloth. She said her husband's not with the shits. He likes toilet paper, but this is her system. And then when she's done with the used cloth, she puts it in a nice little basket. Oh, no. right I'm not behind the term the family toilet. cloth, but it is an unfortunate name for cloth toilet paper. Let me show you the setup in my home to hopefully help remove some of the ick factor. This is the toilet in our upstairs bathroom, primarily used by my husband and I. This is a basket of clean wipes, mostly flannel cut from old Christmas pajamas. When I use the bathroom, I let the bidet do all the heavy lifting, pat dry with a clean wipe, and then put the used wipe in this bin, which will eventually go into the laundry. No wipe is ever used for multiple bathroom sessions without being laundered. That would be disgusting. I personally love cloth toilet paper because it's sturdier and softer on my bum. But my husband is not a fan. So we also keep regular toilet paper. In conclusion, this snake plant has survived despite months of neglect. Honey, where do you keep the paper towel? I'm going to stick to Charmin. Yo, she made taking a shit sound so sweet and innocent. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> she might as well take a shower. Fuck all the bullshit. Just go and take a shower. I'll be your ass in the shower. Her husband don't like that damn water shooting up his ass. That's, That's exactly what it is. Hey, do it make you gay if you use a bidet? A bidet? Yo. <laughs> Y'all know this Alex is lame. He the bidet expert. Alex. Bro, well, you said is it gay to you? Why would it be gay to clean your ass? Yeah, beloved? come on, y'all. Stop. No, 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 hey. No, that, that's some crazy ass you shit, get, bro. You get in the shower, if you don't spread your cheeks for that motherfucking water to clean your ass, you a dirty nigga. Wait, what? <laughs> huh? Yo. Spreading your cheeks. Wait, 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 wait. Hold the fuck up. Hold up. Get his ass. Who was that? Who the fuck was that? That's Let him Tally. talk. Let him talk. That was Tally. Yeah, that was I was looking dead at you, Tally. Yeah, that was me. That I got in the shower. Tally. This is what I was told by women. If you don't get in the shower, nigga, you don't, that's how you clean your ass properly, nigga. Because that's how women clean their ass properly. That's Wait, what? Get. Come on, you man. Niggas get in the shower and don't clean their ass properly. You got to do the one-legged bag. You got to do it. Hey, beloved, respectfully. Hey, that nigga hey, act like man. he in the Just county. Don't do that in hey, prison. hey, beloved. You supposed to clean your ass, beloved. Now, all that spreading your cheeks and all that, bro, you sus, homeboy. <laughs> so you saying he sus because he properly get up in there? Want, right. He sus, man. Crazy. Come on, now. Nah, he didn't like the language. I think it's just the word usage. No, 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 Danny, Danny, listen. Ain't no man about to say we spreading our ass to clean our ass. Get the fuck out of here. He said spread those cheeks. <laughs> Come on, man. Ain't niggas doing it. Come nigga. on. Just because the niggas said it, don't mean it ain't niggas doing it. Let's start there, it's bro. It's best not to say Come on, beloved. That's you all really it's best not to say but most niggas definitely do yourself. it. Ladies, cool. this is a lesson. If you just shit. shut up and let them talk freely, we'll get some answers. Because when we talk to them, they be acting like they don't be doing shit and they be doing shit. Ain't nothing wrong there with it. Go. I just think with certain no. words is used, no, no, no. I think it puts y'all in defense mode. To me, ain't nothing so, wrong so with you said, up in there. So this nigga, man, I ain't even going to say it, man. I, I don't can't do say it, that, man. Yeah, no. I ain't going to do it. I just, yeah, let me mute up. <laughs> ladies, so what are, what are the ladies getting? God damn. I'm not getting I, shit, but I don't he do what he's supposed to do. It. Don't it, do it in jail. It was shit. Yeah. Uh, God but got me over here. We appreciate what I'm going to say. We, we appreciate man, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> it simply was wash your ass versus spread cheeks. Listen, y'all said clean, clean y'all ass, right? Y'all said clean y'all ass and all that. We understand that the boat day and all that shit. Now, when you come to talk about spreading your cheeks to clean your ass, my nigga, you've been doing that comfortably for some time now, and you used to that shit, my brother. And hey, that's something you have to deal with, brother. It's a whole side of the community on this app tally. I think you will fit in, but nah, bro. I love your type of party over here, baby.
Where you spread Never them. have, never will be. Thank you, Tally. Whoop, there it is. Throw her take it over, man. Oh, yeah. shit, y'all. We're going to have a war over this shit. <laughs> Give us a nice, clean reset, Pitbull. Oh, shit. A <laughs> <laughs> clean reset. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the 100 Antique Morning Show on the Clubhouse app. If y'all new to the room, thank y'all for coming through. I need all y'all to stop what y'all doing right now. We are live right now in the 100 Show. Make sure y'all go up top, smash that greenhouse, join the club. Of course, follow all the moderators on stage. Also, follow anyone that you resonate with. Um, if you need one of these fire-ass fucking PTRs, y'all know who to tap in with. Hit my brother 2Ps in the back channel here. Get that over to y'all ASAP, man. Hey, same time, same channel, same station every fucking day, man. We right here pumping content 24-7, only on the 100 NT show, on the Clubhouse app. Again, follow the moderators, ping up, share the motherfucking room. Let's go. Oh shit, y'all. Good looking outfit bull on that one. Salute to you. Uh, so here's the next topic. Florida just passed a law. Uh, Governor De DeSantis uh, just passed a law where they are going to start getting athletes paid for their likeness. Uh, we could run that audio. Many, many of these students, the vast majority, will not go on to play in any professional league if there's one that exists for their sport. So this is an opportunity for them to start a business based on who they are. And uh, in Florida, we just, uh, as I said, we literally just signed the bill by Governor DeSantis uh, yesterday. And uh, this is now in effect for anybody who wants to transfer to the state of Florida and once they're here, uh, have some great opportunities. You cannot induce an athlete to go to a university based on the deals they might get. They have to already be signed up to be a uh, contracted player and, and student at, for example, Florida State University. Once they're there, the coach or staff can now help them get endorsements from local restaurants, car dealerships, uh, whoever is willing to sponsor that athlete. And and of, of note, I mean, a lot of these athletes obviously are going to be your, your revenue generating sports like football and basketball, but there's a lot of great opportunities that we've seen for female athletes, non-traditional sport uh, male or female athletes and uh, you know this just kind of open, opens the door for people to be creative if you're an athlete and you want to go, go into uh, commentating or reporting uh, and and uh, you want to build your brand obviously the more presence you have in social media or in the business world as a as an athlete and as a college student the more uh, that is going to catapult you into whatever that other industry is, is going to be if it's not sports so I think it's important for them to learn not just the value of money how to save, how to make sure that uh, you cover your tax bill and things like that, but also how to monetize who you are. And, you know, or that the, the world today is, is, is very much social and digital and, and people are going to have that opportunity to you know build that brand online and also with merchandise and things like that. So I, I think it's really important for their future to have this opportunity. Not everyone's going to do it, but the, those who do, I hope they do it well here in the state of Florida. The reality is you've got uh, students who uh, will be in college and won't have a, a, a pro uh, league to go to, or even if there is, may not get drafted, may not play. Uh, you've got uh, cases like at Florida State, you know, Sarah Blakely with uh, Spanx product, you know, invented that you know, shortly after leaving school. You can invent something in school as an athlete as part of your brand you could you could have an endorsement deal that goes from being the quarterback of the florida state seminoles to you know it uh, you could parlay it in, into uh, you may auto maybe you do some automotive uh, advertising or endorsements ultimately you end up in the automotive industry or you're a brand uh you're a brand for other other industries so i think the the biggest part of what i'm proud of this bill is the entrepreneurship piece and that's starting to learn how to capitalize on who you are All right, so what a may I I personally think it's great. Um, I had a few homies that, especially, um, well, actually not even a few. One homie that argued with the rest of us because he feels uh, he's very into education and college. He feels it's a distraction. Uh, but I think a lot of these colleges make a lot of money off of these young athletes. And then, like the guy said, they don't end up making it to the pros. And all that money went to these colleges. And we're, today we live in a society with the Internet that is extremely 
extremely easy to brand and market yourself, you know, especially the branding aspect of marketing. Uh, so they can take that further into their careers, whatever they do, whether they go into uh, uh, professional sports or not, is definitely makes life a little easier for them. And especially because they made so much money for the college. So I'm 100 percent in agreement with it. But wanted to get you guys I, uh, concept or idea of it in your opinion, because um, some people do feel it's a distraction away from the education and that these athletes won't have as much heart in the sports that they play. Uh, they'll just be in it for. Throw it. You know, Gavin, Gavin started that shit when he made uh he, he passed that law out here like two years ago yep. to where uh, college app. But you know what? Everybody, everybody was trying to transfer to colleges out here in California behind that because they knew they can get paid. You see right. what I'm saying? So that's why the other colleges not now starting to follow suit. <clears throat> Right, that's what I was just about to say. They're going to have an influx mm -hmm. of student athletes yeah. uh, going through Florida. Everybody start coming out here and transferring out here to uh, colleges as, uh, as athletes because they knew they can get paid. Hey, let me, let me ask y'all this, though. Do y'all think enrollment increases when the athletic imp uh, programs are better at these schools? So let's say you have a bad school, their athletic program's bad, their enrollment's down. Will their enrollment go up? And that's what they're kind of trying to low-key do? Hey, that that hey, that hey, kind of makes sense too, beloved. If you're on some real shit. Because there's a lot of schools with they, they, they shit is doing bad. You get what I'm saying? And, hey, that might make sense. Yeah, that could. I agree. That could absolutely be um, uh, a way to get more students uh, in uh better quality of student, you know, uh, because uh, in, anyway, college uh, football, I like it better than NFL, actually. I think it got more heart in it. It's more competition. Those guys be out there roughing it. Yeah, the reason they really is, it, yeah, because they trying to make it to the pros, so they playing their hearts out so they can get to that big league to make that bread, but we all know 80% to probably 85, 90% of them don't even go. But remember them athletes sued back in the day because they was like, these motherfuckers making money off these video games. They got my number jersey on that motherfucker. Now, that's where I agree at. Pay. That's where I yeah. agree at that they need yeah. to get paid for that. That's a fact. Like, bro, I would have been sued. How y'all making these college games, but y'all not paying us? You get what I'm saying? Y'all got all the air, yeah, bro. They need to get paid for that shit. That's a fact. And then you got to figure like this. The teacher's aides get paid. The niggas that work in the motherfucking cafeteria get paid and all that old type of shit. Why the niggas that's yeah. bringing more? Because you know most of the money that come into them universities, damn near 60% go to the athletic program. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. That's a fact. The alumni, all that money the alumni pump in goes to the basketball and the football teams. Majority of the times it's to the football team. And them coaches getting paid, paid. The argument was always, oh, the, the college degree, that's what you're getting paid, that's worth it. But then the students are there and they're on scholarships and they're struggling. To yeah, a lot of them are struggling, them right. Because a lot of them parents ain't got the money. They, 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 they children went on a full ride to the scholarship, you get what I'm saying? So they don't have that money like, like that. But I just think that they should have been got paid from them fucking video games, bruh. Um, football itself is such a rough sport and there's so many dangers associated with it. They should get paid anyway. See, that's kind of how I look at it. Um, you know, especially you hear when me? it comes, somebody's in the matrix. Go ahead. Go ahead. Can y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead, beloved. No, I was saying y'all was talking about getting paid. Y'all know these these uh, little scene, these high school kids was getting paid uh, NIL deals and shit. I got my homie son, little nigga about to be a millionaire. They cutting checks for these little niggas. Hey, high hey school, Rock, right? ex explain to them what's that NIL yeah, deal. Yeah, what is it? A lot of people don't know. Some That's name, do. image, and likeness. That's what NIL stand for. And uh, basically, um, what's, what's happening now is you can go out and get your own sponsors. So, like the cat from uh, yes, Ohio sir. State, the quarterback, he got a deal with um, a local. Like I think he's he's a, yeah he's in Ohio State, but he's from Rancho Cucamonga out here. But he actually got a deal with like a Bentley dealer and shit. So they shot the nigga a, a Bentley, and then like they basically you know what I'm saying endorsed him, and he can come and do what he wants. So basically, how it work is, you can get all the endorsements. Endorsement. You want to change. 
you in the you in the matrix. No, nah, you in the matrix. I'm still hey, what, what they doing out? is what they doing is they manipulating the shit because before we was in college, couldn't nobody do nothing like that for you. So they figure fuck it, we give it to them in high school, let them take it to college. They get popular in college, they are already part of our brand. That's all they do. Yeah. That, that's a fact. Same shit yeah. that happened with Reggie Bush. I was with just about to say that shit. With, uh, with USC. Yes. Back from it. Same shit. Because in college, you can't take nothing. <clears throat> but in high school, they figure they give it to you. It's contracted. When you go to college, you are, by the time you get to college, you are already year two, three years into it. So it's just going to follow you. He ain't lying because my father. The college got to the college gotta actually, the college actually showing, telling these niggas how much they going to make off their name before they even sign a motherfucking scholarship, bro. So, like, they can tell you, yeah, I'm going to make, we're going to make at least three million off your name. So we're going to shoot you that. That's what's happening. That's what the NIL deals and shit is. So that's what Nick Saban and that other coach, remember they had a big uh, big dispute between each other and Nick Saban was blaming old boy from uh, I want to say uh, Texas Tech one of them schools one of them big schools oh, was it Texas I can't remember but he was mad at the nigga cause he kept getting all of the new recruits because they had the money for that for them deals and shit so Nick Saban like shit all y'all doing is fucking it up for these little niggas that's headed to the NFL and shit it's all about money now it ain't about you know what I'm saying the love of the game no more so he, he you know it's a big controversy right now between that shit and you know and and that's ultimately a great thing because you know a lot of coaches get in trouble for helping students move like Penny Hardaway was tied up in um a thing with trying to get a high school student to uh University of Memphis uh paying for the family to move and that'll eliminate all of that and free up everybody yeah, that's correct. Uh, uh, what, by on um, bringing up Reggie Bush, yeah, if a lot of y'all think it, that was one of the cases. I think that's one of the biggest cases in college. The, is the reason you why they do what they doing here. now. I bring the nigga on here that <laughs> bring got his eyes to smash. He a blood. He from Emerald Hills. He's from Dago. Yeah. Tata, that's my own boy. Mm -hmm. I bring the nigga on that. Yeah, that was big right there. I uh, him on there. He marked Shug out and all that. That's the nigga with Shug. was scared to come out the club. Oh, shit. Tata, Tata, Tata Street nigga. He's from Emerald Hills. He got a seat at that casino down there in Dago on the board. Oh, but he yeah. took care of the nigga, the family, did everything we supposed to do. They were supposed to sign with him as a sports agent. And when the nigga went pro, he went the other way. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Tata, 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 them serve yeah, that's crazy. They serve him. Uh, yeah, we need to hear that story, Uncle. We got yeah, man. That'd be, good, That'd be a dope ass story right there. Yeah, he gonna tell you about that everything. Shit. Yeah. He, gonna oh, he gonna tell you about all that. He gonna tell you why I can't lie. I had to stop him from doing something. Whooping sugar ass. Oh yeah. That's Yo, what? What you doing right? Now? I see you just cooling out right now. You're in your laid back gear, or what? You man, just just up. having a soda and shit. He just cooling. You see what nah, he's cooling? I'm in the back of a Viano. They don't sell these cars. It's a Mercedes Viano. Like a... Them motherfuckers like are expensive. Yeah, they don't sell them out there in the States for some reason. Is that the extender shit? Like, do we extend no, it back? Like, I'm a, it, it's like the minivan. It's like the Benz minivan. Yeah, but it's a six-seater, yeah. It's a, oh, that's Actually, dope. it's an eight-seater. Yeah, they hard to find. <laughs> they hard to find. But they set them up right. There's three seats facing each other so people can be, get back here comfortable. Oh, that's dope as fuck. I'm not confident. I had to go lie. Whack is just cool. I hit this nigga, I hit this nigga <laughs> Chris Brown four times, bro. I seen him a pin drop and everything. I said, bro, my pants to about nine o'clock. Where you at? We can holler. He ain't responding no more. I saw him text him yesterday. He dropped a little in Paris. I texted him yesterday and told him I was going to be in Paris tomorrow. And uh, when I got here, I hit him with a uh, pin drop. He ain't responding. Pancakes and uh, orange juice. What's up with the hand and ass? 